Roger John Madden sitting on a bench in the downtown central, very old area of Veracruz, across the street from a place called Princess Reparaciones, which is an iPhone repair place that has helped me in the past. And I got the best auriculares ever in my life for the money uh, there a couple of months ago, and also one for my friend Roxana. So I'm hoping to score one again because I did manage to break mine. This is a terrific neighborhood where I spent a lot of time Plaza Bravo, I like an awful lot. There's an OXO station down there. Store. And uh, the girl host at the uh, Harita de Oro over in the marina section told me the other day that uh, Veracruz is mystical. And I'm really wanting to get back to her too quiz her a little bit about what she means when she says that. I do experience Veracruz that way. And three anecdotes from my last 24 hours. Yesterday, stumbling around in the Bin Verified app, I found uh, an email address for potentially the person I have the most outstanding amends to make in my life, a young woman who I hurt pretty terribly emotionally out of my own emotional ignorance as a young man in my 30s. It's liable not to be her. Been verified doesn't say that she lived in Syracuse, but it's the right name. And she's living in Santa Fe, which is the kind of place she would live. So I initiated that. That would be so amazing if I could somehow, even if all that happened was for her to say, no, go away, I don't want to hear from you again. At least she would have heard that I want to make amends. And today, I was I had lunch in a restaurant called Ca Cafe Lara's, and that's my niece's name. And we're not in a good place with each other for the last year after me adoring her most of her life, and still adoring her. And uh, I stood out in front of Cafe Lara's and made an 18-minute video explaining to her where I think we went wrong with each other and asking her to sit down with somebody she loves and trusts like her new husband to uh, watch that video and see if she's willing to open her heart to me again. Just doing that, regardless of the outcome, reaching out to her a year after I fired her from my life for giving me no support through four years of very courageous travel and then just savaging me on Facebook for something she disapproved of. First time she had spontaneously commented on anything in several years. So I reached out to her. So is that because Veracruz has some kind of mystical power? It's one of the first settlements in Mexico. Spaniards came here in the early 1500s. It's got a lot of history. And uh, the Europeans love to claim that the Isla Sacrificios that you can see from the Marina section and the Boca del Rio section, Playa La Bamba, which has been important to me. The story they love to tell and still have sitting there on Wikipedia is that the reason it's called Isla Sacrificios is because the Spanish explorers and invaders in 1518 found on that island the remnants of very bloody and savage human sacrifice just the day before, which makes us good Europeans feel like, of course, we have a right to pillage Mexico, those as terrible Aztecs. And it took about 10 minutes of digging around on the internet to find a hotel chain saying, you know, human sacrifice, probably it was just a burial site. That's what the further archaeology is indicating. Yeah. So if that has something to do with this being a mystical place, who knows? Obviously the, the Aztecs were hanging out here. Okay.